Hi, happy Saturday. I'm recording this on a Saturday. Um, I uh, welcome to the Divinely You podcast. Welcome to Sarah Divinely You on YouTube. I'm getting ahead of myself today. Um, I will admit, I, I like to do a little full transparency and just kind of like, I don't, I mean, I want to show up professionally, but like also I'm human. And I think that it's important to show up human as much as it's important to show up professionally and put together and all that shit. Um, I think it's just as effective to like not show up perfect. Okay. So I say all of that to say that I'm going to talk about the root chakra, which is a grounding chakra, security chakra, and I am probably not very grounded right now. So what I'm going to do in this video is sort of teach you what I do when I need to get grounded, want to be grounded. And yet I'm like stirred up like, um, about to, you know, have an experience tomorrow that may, you know, it's probably going to go fine, but in my head, like my, you know, all of our brains, like we like to make up stories about how we think it's going to go and, you know, what's going to happen and this and that, and you know, it might be intense because the people involved, you know, who knows in my case, these people don't exactly value me as much as I value me. And so it creates tension for me. Um, cause I, you know, reached the point where if you don't value me or acknowledge, you know, recognize my worth, like as much as I do, um, I don't, I have difficulty being around you or having you present in my life. And so, um, so that's where I am. So <laughs> I'm bringing all that. And, um, I, I have loads of visions as to what I want to do with my channel at this point. Like I'm, my creativity is opening up and, and I kind of want to do some stuff with backdrops and things. So I've been exploring some DIY stuff with that. And then I'm about to bring more stuff into my space um, as I bring the rest of me, uh, my storage over into the current space where I'm staying. And so um, uh, life's about to be a little chaotic for a hot minute. Um, but I know it's going to be great and I know it's going to all work out and hopefully I'll get a backdrop soon. I really want one. I'm kind of like looking back at some of my videos. Like I usually record against a plain wall and I'm not a very plain wall kind of person. Um, but I would really like a way that I can change out the backdrop. Like I don't want just one solid backdrop. I want to change it out for all of my different stuff that I present and talk to you guys about. So that's, that's kind of a little full of transparency as to where I'm at with things right now. I'm having a blast doing these um, and I want to keep doing them. So anyway, so root chakra, the color is red. You can see I got a lot of red going on. Um, I got a red light going on. I even got these candles that are red. Um, these are battery operated candles. I don't do flame. Um, sometimes I do, but not on a regular. Uh, I like the effect of candlelight, what it does for me spiritually. Um, not necessarily like having to deal with lit candles and things. And so that's kind of been an always thing for me. Um, anyway, so, uh, so I got some candles and so here's what I'm going to do before I even like dive into anything. I've got my Arbor Vitae, which I've talked about this oil and oil videos probably, but I'm going to talk about it here specifically because it's a grounding oil. This is like the best. Let me put the cat back on and show you guys. I can put a piece of safe on it. <laughs> so hopefully I won't, I will show you the, the proper direction of the bottle. Anyway, uh, Arbor Vitae, uh, this stuff is really woody and it's really good for grounding. Um, I kid you not, I follow this uh, spiritual lady on High Vibe um, TV and she mentioned Arbor Vitae like every day for the past year, it kind of became a a joke with all of us um in that you know we 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 all just knew get your arbor vitae uh because it's super good for grounding so i am going to splash a little bit on the bottom of my foot this is how i do oils very very loosely and then i'm gonna rub my feet together because that's how i roll <laughs> um and so that not only got the aroma into the air actually, i actually think i got a drop on my hand so that's awesome too um, but I got the aroma into the air. I then put it on my skin. Your feet have larger pores, so it's going to absorb um, faster. If you have like doTERRA balance, that's a perfect oil for this too. Anything that will ground you and like root you in, right? The root chakra is about rooting. It roots you. Um, its main like components are safety, security, 
uh, all of those types of things. Um, so one of the things that you can do is to really activate your root chakra is to sit in a chair, um, you know, straight back as you can. I'm not great at posture. You'd think I would be, uh, <laughs> but I'm not, um, sit in a chair, put your feet flat on the floor. If you can take your shoes and socks off all the freaking better. I am not a shoes and socks person. Uh, that's like, like, that's why I don't live in cold climates because I don't like shoes and socks. Um, <laughs> uh, so, so shoes and socks off if you can, um, and put your feet flat on the floor, um, and sit yourself in your chair. You know, if you can sit up tall, good, if you can't just, as long as you're just seated, um, you can relax back if you want to, I'm not going to, for the sake of the video. Um, and imagine, close your eyes. And I want you to imagine roots coming out of your feet, coming out of your seat and pulling themselves down into the ground, down into the earth and rooting you to the earth. Visualize these roots, knowing that you're safe, you're secure and that you're okay, that you're rooted, you're grounded to the earth. And you may feel even like the sensations of like your body getting a little heavier. Maybe your feet are heavier to the ground. Maybe your seat is heavier to the chair that you're sitting on. And just allow yourself to root in to the earth. So it's interesting that the root, there's so much that one is, wants to come through right now for me. I like literally had to take a breath when I was prepping to do this video because I'm like, what do I get out of that? Um, didn't help that I was not grounded <laughs> um, because I'm a nomad. So I don't actually have my own home, right? I stay with friends. Um, or I travel or, you know, I do whatever, right? And the reality is, is that as someone who is a nomad, the, one of the biggest lessons I feel in being a nomad or choosing this lifestyle is knowing that my home, my safety, and my security is within myself. That no matter where I go, or whatever, I can make myself at home, not in the physical space necessarily, but I, ha I have the things that I bring with me, right? That make that, that help me feel at home. Okay. And examples are like, I bring audio books with me, or I bring crochet projects with me. I bring my own personal care items with me, specifically the ones that I appreciate or I enjoy. Um, I often carry food and snack, food, snacks, my water bottle, um, you know, things like that. So I always like knowing my own tendencies. I bring specific things. If I know it's going to be cold, I don't take chances on it. It's going to be okay. I actually make sure I bring gloves um, because I know I get chilly, right? Things like that. Um, Sometimes I bring incense or sage. Sometimes I bring stones. That's probably going to be more of a thing. Um, whatever I feel like I need to feel safe and secure with myself is what I'm going to travel with, what I'm going to, be, what I'm going to have with me. So that no matter how awkward or maybe like the space is a little uh, off energetically, I can bring myself into it and I can feel safe and secure in myself. Um, I was also thinking that the chakra, the root chakra is based at the lower, at like the base of the spine. Uh, and I'm someone who has had like lower back and hip pain. So I have focused a lot on balancing the chakra because I, I tend to hold a lot of emotions in feeling unsafe or unsecure, um, especially when it comes to money. Um, and so shifting my mindset from scarcity or survival mode to abundance and prosperous mode or prosperity 
has been a key to my journey as well. And maybe that doesn't mean that I've increased my income so much as I've changed the way I perceive the money that I have or the income that I have. Um, and shifting, like, so when I say no to something, it's usually not based on price so much as it no longer aligns with me. I don't need to invest in that, right? Case in point, this week, I was like, I need shoes. I, my shoes are about to fall apart. I need shoes. I go to the store, none of the shoes align. I'm like, okay, this is not going to happen. And then I'm like, oh, it's because I meant to buy a phone because my phone's battery was like taken a couple of times charging a day. My current phone that I just got, literally, I am got. I kid you not, it's on 4%. I'm kind of letting it drain to zero, but it's been, it has not been charged for over 24 hours. So, um, holy crap. So it did not align for me to get shoes, even though in my ego brain, my critter brain is like, you need shoes. You need to buy shoes. You walk every damn day, everywhere you go, you need to buy shoes. No, what was actually more effective for me is to have a new phone because I need a device that can keep up with the lifestyle that I lead. When I go out and about, I need to have a phone that's reliable, um, for whatever I'm up to. So it's not about saying, no, oh, I can't afford it. No, it's about, I, it doesn't align. Another example is I would love to get an astrology reading, but I am like, I can't afford the astrologers that I want a reading from. And then my astrologer was like, you don't need them to tell you jack shit. You need to freaking do your work. <laughs> and she, it's, it's true because I was like, oh, I don't even know which one I would pick of the few that I have to choose from. I have no clue who I would want to pick. I love them all. And then it's like, but I don't need to get that information from them. It's not that I don't love them and I don't want to, not that I don't want to support them or whatever. And it's not that I can't afford it. It's, it doesn't serve me to have that thing. Okay. So it's, it's when it comes to money, it's not about how much money you're making, how much money you have and how much something costs. It's, it's, does that thing align with you? Does it serve you? right? Um, so what else was I reading on the root chakra? Um, so safety, security, survival mode. Um, so, it, you know, uh, almost all the chakras can relate in some way to like digestive or eating disorders. Um, cause if you feel unsafe or, uh, if you're in survival mode, like your breath, your body and your brain do lots of wild things. Um, so that sort of thing, uh, the color is red. So obviously we have, Ooh, knocking over the oil jar. Um, so we have the red Jasper stone is one of the stones you read any red, anything red. So if you go to a stone shop, um, astrology shop, whatever, whatever, um, you can just let them know you're looking for a root chakra stone they'll help they'll be able to hook you up and help you out make sure you get the little piece of the paper i always get my little papers because i never remember i'm getting better actually just from doing these videos um i'm remembering what my stones are but i'm still i always i always put them in the bag that they came in with the paper because i'm always like i'm gonna forget um and then this one is smoke smoky quartz I have another one that's not like this one and it's a smoke so i'm always like questioning anyway that's why i had a little hiccup hesitation. I actually really love this one. It's a very earthy stone. Um, it's not like polished. It's, it's more of just a, it has very like, which I always think about with the, with a, an earthy chakra, right. Is, is connecting to the earth. So earthy stones. Um, and so the smoky quartz, um, so anything red smoky quartz is more of like a brownish or smoky, obviously, um, so that, but anything earthy is going to root you in. It's like, I started out this video by saying like sitting in a chair and feeling, you know, and visualizing the roots rooting you to the earth. Um, I know I mentioned last week, um, about the, like doing earthly tasks, like 
uh, laundry, doing dishes, doing like household chores or whatever really helps like ground you. Um, Cause I tend to like float up in the cloud and want to visualize things. You know, I talked about like how I want my channel to look and how I want the backdrop to look and how I want this to look. That's all the visualizing, but I got to root down in to actually like do the research or actually go look at products or buy the products, you know, to try the different DIY crap I've looked at to pull it all together. Right. So, um, so that's kind of how you, you, you bring the visual into being is, um, it's very divine feminine, divine masculine, <laughs> like, right. The divine feminine has the visualization, the divine masculine pulls it together and executes the idea. So, um, that's kind of how like the root chakra is what roots you into actually doing the task. So, um, I hope you found this to be helpful. Um, I had a flood of thoughts all at once. Apparently I'm there today. Um, I feel like I didn't mention any oils because I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, like I said, with ba doTERRA balance um, and the Arbor Vitae that I used at the beginning of the video is a very grounding oil. Um, frankincense, I believe, is usually pretty grounding. Um, so anything earthy uh, will support that. Um, eat red foods, red peppers, red potatoes, red tomatoes, um, you know, anything red. Uh, will support the root chakra, um, wear red. This is what got me to wear red. Actually. I'm not a huge fan of red, but when I started learning about the root chakra was when I was like, maybe I should, maybe I should love some red. <laughs> so anywho, I hope you found this to be helpful. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, you will find in the description box below my contact information, as well as a PayPal link. If you'd like to donate to support these videos, I would appreciate that so much. Um, and with that, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Love you. Bye. Stop recording now.